The superstar baller Kevin Love, who is best known as the five-time NBA All-Star for the Cleveland Cavaliers, has managed to snag himself some pretty luxurious real estate. Back in 2015, shortly after being traded to the Cavs, Love dropped a modest $1.2 million for a 5,126 square foot abode that boasts five bedrooms and six bathrooms in the upscale Cleveland suburb of Brayton Hall, Ohio. Don't let the modest price fool you, the residence is packed with a number of features, including a glass-walled wine cellar and an elevator elevator that leads to all three floors. Now, Kevin Love has always had a love affair with New York City, so it should come as no surprise that in the spring of 2019, Love and his girlfriend Kate Brock upgraded to a majestic three-bedroom downtown condominium in the Tribeca waterfront properties located in the Big Apple. The penthouse offers newly custom-designed rooms, including his very own custom-made 32-inch desk and nicely touched with panoramic views of New York City. Additionally, Love and his girlfriend have a penthouse duplex and a cast iron building located in Greenwich Village. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. What's going on everybody? I'm Clyde Smith and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post new content daily. And if you want, follow me on the gram and let me know whose house tour you want to see featured next. Alright, let's get into this video. When Kevin Love isn't living the glamorous New York City lifestyle, he resides in his Bratton Hall, Ohio residence while the NBA season is underway. Back in 2015, shortly after being traded by the Minnesota Timberwolves, Love forked out a modest $1.2 million for the 5,126 square foot home, boasting five bedrooms and six bathrooms. Despite its underwhelming price, the three-level residence is located in a very upscale neighborhood and also happens to be the former home of Tristan Thompson before he was dealt to the Boston Celtics. Not to mention, the estate offers a number of luxe features, including coffered ceilings, Turkish limestone flooring, a beautiful chef's kitchen, glass-walled wine cellar, and an elevator that will get you to all three floors. I don't know about you, but an elevator in your own home is just the definition of being a baller. I don't know. The abode offers a number of living and dining room spaces, including an expansive main room that boasts an open floor plan and high ceilings. The main living area comes with plush furnishings, custom fittings, and fixtures, both a grand dining table and fireplace and those glass walls filled with costly bottles of wine. Additionally, the digs include a den transformed into an elegant sitting area with coffered ceilings, tiled fireplace, and a large flat screen television. Not to be outdone by those sleek custom shelves and oversized windows offering a ton of natural light. Kevin's Gourmet Kitchen includes all the essential stainless steel appliances that you'd expect out of an NBA All-Star, granite countertops, breakfast bar, and glass-fronted wine cellar in case you wanted to fire up a few mimosas. Additionally, the kitchen comes with a breakfast nook with a view and a butler's pantry with tons of storage space ideal for cooking up a storm, while the master suite features a sitting area, wood-burning fireplace, private patio access, and nicely finished with a flat-screen television and elegant chandelier soaring above. Furthermore, the master suite also includes a spacious walk-in closet big enough to hold all of Kevin Love's kicks. Probably the biggest flex the estate has to offer has to be the master bathroom that comes with heated flooring, his or her sinks, a sitting area, and a large soaking tub boasting terrific views of the grounds. In addition, the master bathroom includes a large glass shower and additional chandelier. Caleb really seems to love his chandeliers, eh? Eh, can't blame him. Also included in the abode is one of five bedrooms that offers an additional bedroom with a view and a double enclave bed, perfect for hosting guests or perhaps teammates when the post-game parties get a a little too rowdy. When it comes to lavish indoor amenities, Kevin's basement boasts a fitness room with all of the machines and a steam room ideal for unwinding post-game. Perhaps not as glamorous as some of those LA backyards, the exterior holds it down with a number of luxe amenities. For starters, the backyard comes with a sheltered patio, complete with patio furnishings and stumptuous fireplace. While there doesn't appear to be a pool on the property, there's plenty of room for one in this expansive backyard. In addition, the backyard comes with a hot tub surrounded with seats and gorgeous foliage. The backyard offers energy entertainment features like a barbecue area with a pizza oven and additional fire pit to stay warm during those Ohio winters. Perhaps one of the finer sights has to be the private park with a bench boasting panoramic views of Lake Erie. Well done, Kev. As it turns out, when Kevin was 18 years old, he wrote down in a notebook that he wanted to own an apartment and live in New York City by the time he was age of 30. 
In spring of 2019, three months before his 30th birthday, Kevin snagged a stunning Tribeca off-season penthouse that features three bedrooms in New York City. See kids, dreams do come true. Because when I was 17, 18 years old, I actually wrote in a journal that I would have a New York apartment by the time I turned 30 years old. The already glamorous condo underwent a series of renovations, including exposed beams, reclaimed oak flooring, and an open floor plan that has the living room flowing into the dining area. Some of Love's favorite features added include Ralph Lauren home lounge chairs made of carbon fiber and a custom dining table, gorgeous artwork not to be outdone by a pocket door that connects to the living room with a home office. Perfect for relaxation, the plush furnishings overlook the New York City skyline, that includes a cozy fireplace. The open kitchen offers Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances. Granite countertops centered on a stunning marble island. Kevin enjoys his bar seating, so he opted to add a floating extension off the island, touched nicely with a custom window bench and wine cooler. Also offered in the open kitchen is a charming breakfast nook with a view and butler's pantry, essential for a perfect meal. Now, despite all of the renovations that Kevin has added, one room that was left pretty much untouched was the brightest minimalist bathroom that includes his or hers marble quartz countertops, a large granite bathtub, and spacious glass rain shower, offering the utmost relaxation. To date, the only upgrade appears to be a Toto toilet, but nothing wrong with going to the bathroom like a king, am I right? The master bedroom includes a sitting area, oversized windows with stunning views, and a cozy fireplace serving as a perfect spot to rest his head. Additional custom goodies added were the reclaimed brick wall, linen sheets, moss garden plants above his headboard, and a spacious walk-in closet. From 2017 to 2018, Kevin earned roughly $27 million in endorsements, so it only makes sense that he would custom design himself a pretty dope office. The office includes a custom-made 32-inch desk, hand-carved antique wood shelving, vintage chairs, and an olive green rug with a view. We're willing to bet that Kevin negotiated endorsement deal or two in there. Not too shabby at all, Kev. Before settling in their luxurious Tribeca waterfront penthouse, Kevin had spent a lot of time with Cape Rock in Greenwich Village, New York City. Purchased back in 2016 for $1.3 million, the one-bedroom, one-bathroom penthouse duplex was located at a landmark cast iron building dating back to 1868. The unit offers a number of glamorous features, including a 330 square foot private terrace, hardwood oak flooring, a renovated marble bathroom, and a chef's kitchen with farmhouse sinks, marble countertops, and probably the most dazzling feature was an interior staircase which led to the master suite and a private roof terrace with stunning views of New York City. The abundance of plush seating and the greenery really sells the place here. Just, just beautiful. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Kevin Love's homes in Bratton Hall, Ohio, and New York City. And after seeing the three digs, what did you think? Was it everything that you'd expect and more out of Kevin Love? While the features of both homes were pretty sick, the guy has his own elevator, and he's clearly a wine connoisseur. I mean, you know it's real when you got glass-walled wine cellars and elevators in your house. So, you know. Hats off to Kevin Love. Out of all of Kevin Love's features, which were your fave? You guys can even go ahead and rate them in the comment section down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video.